Trans woman wins Miss Nevada, now set to compete in Miss USA reports. Hey, wait. I hate news sites. I hate that they do this. I hate that they do this. My God. The 27-year-old is like, hey, that's how old I am, is slated to be the first openly trans woman to compete for the title of Miss USA, reports say. Trans woman has earned the title of Miss Nevada USA for the first time in the pageant's history, according to reports. According to, wait, according to reports? Is this like rumored? Is this like La New Vegas, Nevada? Like we've he we've heard rumors emanating from the desolate wastes of Nevada. It's, I just don't know why you'd say according to reports when like, yeah, many people are saying this. Filipino American Cataluna Enriquez was crowned the winner Sunday of the pageant held in Las Vegas, so on and so on. And oh, how nice! There we go. I'm assuming since this person has the Miss Nevada banner on her, then that's probably her. Yeah, that's my guess. Yeah, I'm engaging in a lot of inferential reasoning right now. No, it's the other one that doesn't say Miss Nevada. Um, anyway, to my pageant mommy, verse rose two. No words can describe how much I'm grateful to you. Okay, this is standard. Like I just want a contest type thing. On Monday, Miss Trans Global 2020, Mela ha Habishan, took to Twitter to congratulate Enriquez following her big win. I think that's lovely. Our trans Pinay sister, Cataluna Enriquez, made history today. She won Miss Nevada 2021. She will be the first trans woman to compete in the Miss USA pageant. Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, so on and so forth. There she is. We're all having fun over here. One thing that is important to me is inclusivity, diversity, and representation. It's something I did not have growing up, and it's still lacking in today's world, Enrique said after that win. Today, I am a proud transgender woman of color. Personally, I've learned that my differences do not make me less than, it makes me more than. Aw, that's nice. Okay, so what do we think about this? I think it's cool. That's what I think about it. There are going to be people who are saying that this is like fake, woke, inclusivity, diversity, like fake, whatever. Um, yeah, how many comments are there in this article? 9,000 comments. Oh yeah, here we go. The very top comment is talking about, um, what is it called? Rapid onset gender dysphoria. The thing that came from that one paper that was complete BS, that was completely unproven. I've taught high school for 28 years. In the first 25, I had not one trans student. Within the last three years, I've had seven students who announced they wanted their name pronounced and gender identified differently. Children are very susceptible, blah, blah, media. I wonder why children are more comfortable being open with their gender identities now. It's crazy. True story, back in the 90s, my first wife enjoyed watching the pageants. At the time, we were in our 30s. She would always ask me if I thought certain women were beautiful, and when those questions were answered honestly, it would get her really angry. This is some tremendous boomer stuff. Finally, in 1998, my answer was, there is no right answer. If I say yes, you'll be mad at me for a week. If I say no, you'll know I'm lying because it's a beauty pageant, not an ugly contest. We divorced in 1998. Based boomer. I like that, okay? You're scrolling through political answers. It's like trans people are taking over America, blah, blah, blah. And then like this one right here, just like, yeah, dude, my wife kept asking me if like, I, just like these pants made her look fat and I didn't know how to answer and then we divorced. That's a sick boomer story. I like that, you know? For some reason, I don't think this uh, person won this competition, won with the O-N-E. Jesus, how do you make that mistake? because of him slash her looks, but rather politics slash media attention was the leading factor for victory. So this is one of the reasons why you should never like ask a conservative opinion on any of this. Uh, it's because they will, this is like, you know how anytime there's a successful woman, misogynists will go like, ha, she sucked her, she sucked a lot of dick to get up there. And anytime there's a successful black person, they'll be like, ha, affirmative action, sure did put him up here. That's one of the problems with bigotry. They will assume success from any minority has to come from like politics and placating. It's completely non-falsifiable too. How would you prove like the other one? Also, how hard do you have to try to say him slash her on this one? Are you fucking blind? Like, let me be real with you guys. Can we like do away with gender theory? Nobody cares about gender theory, all right? Here's like, can we just work off intuition for a second here? How hard do you have to work for your brain to look at somebody who looks like this and go like, Oh yeah, she. I, I mean him. He's a man, and and anyway, I think that her his dress is ugly. like you have to try. You have to like force yourself so hard. You have to like crunch your brain. If nobody told the people in the comments this lady was trans, they would all be boomer posting about how hot she is and wishing that she was their wives. Like seriously, if nobody pointed it out, they would all be just stroking it right now. Okay, seriously. Wait, stop gesturing to the woman on the left. She's the one on the right? Wait, what? Really? Wait, the one on the left has the Miss Nevada banner. 
Is that like another previous? It's the one on the right? And why is this one wearing the... Whatever, all women look the same to me. Okay, anyway. Scroll down again. Nope, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, I don't care. i am be real with you. All beauty pageant ladies look the same to me. They're all like super hot, super skinny with big white smiles. Okay, I don't care. Whatever. They're both beautiful. Okay, they're all beautiful. Everyone here is beautiful. Okay. Wait, isn't that point proven? I can't, I can't. Are they both trans? I can't look at this and tell who's trans. Isn't that point proven? Look, anyway, the point is like, <laughs> I don't know. Jesus. Anyway, like just. Oh, wait, yeah, because this is the same dress as this one. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I can't tell. What? I don't know. Anyway, like, imagine passing this hard, Keck V. Yeah, true. Um, anyway, just like on an intuitive basis, I have to ask, like, why is it? Okay, look, let's be real here for a second, okay? One of the most popular categories of pornography is, like, women who have penises, okay? Whether that's IRL, and it used to be that all the porn sites had the shemale category, and it was super popular. But now it gets called like trans in a lot of these sites, and that's better. And also, it's like Fuda stuff and hentai. Like, people like it. P like, people like trans women, like, aesthetically, okay? But like, then they have the audacity to pretend, like, politically to go out there and act disgusted. It's really, really weird, you know? It's like how a lot of racist people are super into like interracial cuckold porn. You know what I mean? Like, why? Is. One one thing that I don't understand, I'm not talking about, like, the specifics of gender theory, because I think those are defensible, and I think I can pretty, like, effectively argue that, like, a trans woman is a woman or whatever, and that gender isn't, like, based on chromosomes. I think these are easy arguments for me to make, and I know that because I've made them hundreds of times, and I've never lost one of those arguments. You can look through a lot of content on my channel, and you will never come away from a debate or, like, a video coverage thinking, wow, Vosh sure did lose on that gender discussion. Like, it just doesn't happen, okay? It's a simple subject, but... Leaving aside, like, the, it's not simple, but, like, the victory is. <sighs> Leaving aside all of that, like, why do people bend themselves into boxes trying to, like, he him people who look like this? Like, what are you doing? Like, why? Ben Shapiro did this too, you know? Ben Shapiro is like, yeah, I use biological pronouns. But then he had to correct himself because he used she, her pronouns on a trans woman. And he said, like, Oh, well, actually, you know, if I was with Blair White, then I would use he, her, she, her pronouns, but like, uh, only, um, only for social convenience or whatever. It's like, dude, you, you don't even believe any of the shit you're saying. You're just saying he, him to like, for like political points, but you don't believe it either. Like, it's not, it's, you're not achieving any greater social utility. You know what I mean? It's super, super weird. I don't know. Again, like, none of the people in the comment section would have known that woman was trans unless it was the point of the article. So, like, they're looking, and otherwise they would be like, oh my god, she's so hot. But now they're like, uh, I don't know about this one, guys. Like, what, what do you... Virtue signaling. It's so weird. Look, if you don't, like, want to have, like, sex with a trans woman or whatever, if you're, like, super, like, conceptually opposed to that, then fine. They probably don't want to have sex with you either. Just, But, like, to pretend, to sit there and, like, pretend. The absolute audacity... Vosh, be careful with this, because it could come off like you're saying, I understand why people misgendered on passing people, but passing people, no shot. Like, it's generally seen as harmful to push that kind of stuff, no. So, I don't think that whether or not you're, like, passing weighs in on the validity of your gender identity, but I do think that, like, from the perspective of a person who has never thought about gender theory in their entire life, which is, like, 99.9% .9 of people, you have to make an incredibly active effort to misgender and to disregard trans people who pass super, super well. Like, at that point, it reveals that your opposition to this isn't based on some kind of, like, oh, yeah, we're just different, and I'm just reflecting reality with my language. It's based on, like, like, like they have to force themselves to do it. It's an, it's a, it's an active effort that they, they impose upon themselves. But that's not saying that if you don't pass, you're, like, any less of a woman or whatever. Um, it's, just, it's just, like, pointing out the, the, I guess, the silliness of their behavior. I don't know. I'm just telling you to clarify for Twitter. Oh, yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's just really, really dumb shit. Um, like, personally, I hope that, um, I hope that, like, moving forward, because the goal for me, I think that passing, um, like, the expectation that you have to pass to be, like, considered a pretty woman is super cringe, you know? There are plenty of, like, super hot trans women who don't pass perfectly, but they're super hot anyway, because I don't think, like, the, the concept of, like, attractiveness being entirely linked to the ability to definitively pass as a cis person is pretty weird. I don't know. Um, 
There are plenty of super hot people who break from that. And the, by the way, there are cis people who are hot who break from that too. There are plenty of hot androgynous cisgender people, okay? Does anyone remember glam metal from like the 1980s? Or like, I don't know, Ripley from Alien? I don't know, like just, it, you can be androgynous be super hot. Or Prince? Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I, this stuff feels like so much more complicated. Why can't we just find attractive the people who we find attractive, okay? You know? For me, it's like, this might be a tortured analogy, but you know when you're giving kids some food and you, you're you giving them like some food and they're like, what's in it? And you don't tell them. And then they eat it and they take a bite and they like it, you know? And then they're like, that's good. And you're like, yeah, that's good. That has broccoli in it. And then they go, <laughs> you know what i mean like that's you know kids how kids do that i still do that a little um <laughs> that's that's how i that's how i feel with this a little bit you know what i mean like hey here's a gorgeous woman awesome she's trans like okay all right uh, yeah come on does little little baby brains little little baby brain goobers Vosh, can we get a fuck chasers uh yeah they're bad i i don't know what it has to do with this segment though <laughs> um i don't know what uh what that has to do with this necessarily i think the people in the fox news comment section are pretty far away from being like chasers they feel like a couple of steps removed from that process Wait, let's top it up let's get a couple more one thing that's important for me is inclusivity, diversity, and representation. It's something I did not have growing up and is still lacking in today's world. St oh, wait, they're, they're quoting the lady, except they didn't have the open quotes, so it was confusing. Still lacking. If it was lacking, she would not have been able to compete. Another one taking the stage for politics. Dude, that's such like a big brain move right there. Holy shit. Dude, how can, how can there be a problem with diversity? When a person said there's a problem with diversity, this is like this isn't this is even lower IQ than the um, Obama was president. So how can racism still be a problem? This is more like like back during the the Jim Crow era, a black man like takes to the stage and said like Martin Luther King Jr. being like, uh, yeah, you know, there's a lack of black voices in this country, and some white guy in the crowd is like. Dude, you're literally on stage. And the Civil Rights Act hasn't even passed yet. Just more blatant rebellion against God and being proud of it. Just remember, guys, <laughs> conservatives just want to make life miserable for people, okay? There's really not that much behind all of it. Woman, you asked for this. By allowing men to compete and win a beauty pageant, you're suggesting men make better than women. Way to empower women. Women's beauty pageants should be for biological women. Biological men have Mr. Olympia. Trans should have their own or compete with their biological peers. Doesn't this kind of... Doesn't this kind of... Why is this person called Hollow Knight? Uh, doesn't this person... Um, ki doesn't this defeat the like arguments against trans women in women's sports argument? Because they're like, the reason why trans women shouldn't compete with cis women is because there's a potential advantage, which, okay, you know, you can, like, argue the metrics there. But then, like, with this one, it's like, trans women shouldn't compete in beauty contests because they beat out cis women. True, trans women do have a biological advantage over cis women when it comes to uh, being hot. There you go. That's, that's my pandering for the day. You like that? You like that? Oh, you like that. There you go. Now we're... Now we're, oh wait, people are going to call me a chaser for that. Don't don't read too much into it, okay? I've been called a chaser before, by the way. I totally have, yeah. I've been called a, a chaser before. I think there was one segment on stream where, I, I forget the specifics on this, but what is a chaser? A person who, like, fetishizes trans people. Le like, in an unhealthy way. Like, it's a negative thing. I think there was one time where we were talking about, like, I, I think one time I showed, like, a there was a picture of, like, a trans guy, and I said that he was hot or something. I, I think I got in trouble for that. I don't know. There are some people on um on Twitter who think that being a chaser is, like, any time you profess any attraction to trans people. Uh, I don't know. The discourse on this is weird. I, I, why can't we all get along? 